It could be a good night for a stroll downtown to see that display. Beautiful weather, David Paul. It will be a beautiful evening for a stroll. Gorgeous out there. Time lapse from Katie Memorial Herman Hospital, uh, TX Energy Cam. That's 99. That's I-10. It's been that kind of a day. Gorgeous. Sugarland's 85 right now. Conroe's 82. Liberty's 82. Low humidity is keeping these 80s feeling very comfortable. Allergy index continues not so good. Ragweed 317. Pollen granules per cubic meter of air of ragweed right here in Houston today. That's probably why my throat itches, my nose itches, and your face hurts. Tuesday, gorgeously cool in the morning, 60, high of 86. Beautiful afternoon again on Tuesday, but a lot going on in the tropics. We've got Tropical Storm Gamma, we've got Tropical Storm Delta. Gamma, that's not the center up here where all the thunderstorm activity is. That's what happens when you get these storms sheared off by the upper level winds. The circulation has been left behind and it has exposed itself here just north of Cancun and Cozumel on the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, the center is going to interact with the landmass of Mexico and weaken into nothing over the next couple of days. So gamma is not a threat. Delta is one we'll be watching carefully. It is forecast to become a major Cat 3 hurricane even before it hits Cancun Cozumel, then races into the center of the Gulf of Mexico. That's Wednesday as a Cat 3, and then all global models yank this thing to the north and then northeast as it makes landfall, perhaps near New Orleans. Southeast Louisiana is the center of the cone as a Cat 2, 100 mile an hour winds on Friday of this week. Now we're not in the cone, we're close. We'll watch it. These storms don't always stay in that forecast cone. But again, looking at all the spaghetti plots, all the global and hurricane forecast models are very much in agreement that this is going to head to southeast Louisiana. Again, models are not perfect, but this is the most likely outcome. We'll be watching it carefully. On a track like that, a major hurricane in the Gulf, we would see increased surf, significant wave action on Galveston and the Balboa Peninsula beaches. There may even be some coastal flooding for low lying areas because of the onshore flow and the surf that we would get with that. But I think we would miss most of the weather with that because as this thing rotates around that area of high pressure on Thursday, that's what's going to yank it to the north before it has a chance to get pushed into southeast Texas. So this is going to be a close call, and I would urge you to make sure you keep watching us at least once a day just to make sure it takes that track. Louisiana doesn't need another hurricane, but it looks most likely that they will end up with that system moving in as it curves around the upper level winds. And then later in the weekend into early next week, all eyes will come to this jet streak off the Pacific coast. That will cause a kink in the upper level flow downstream and we get a significant trough. This is early next week. That's our next significant chance for rain, not until the beginning of next week. Until then, the extended has sunshine and gorgeous weather Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, warming to near 90 as we head into the coming weekend and then a 20% rain chance, not until next Monday.